Hi, I'm Michael. I'm the lead pastor at Crossroads, and this is the first installment of our devotional series, Heroes. I'll tell you something about heroes. Uh, it's very personal to me. I've always wanted to be one. It's a silly thing, probably a kid thing, but as a kid and even now as an adult, I've always wanted to be a hero. I, I have this secret desire that I want to be a hero in someone's life. I want to be able to uh, do hero-like things in people's lives. I don't know whether you uh, are just born with that kind of desire or whether you watch movies and it becomes your desire. I grew up, my dad was a Marine. My stepdad was a Marine. I grew up watching John Wayne movies and uh, reading Superman comic books. Uh, so, you know, I don't know, but I know it's not just me. We make hero movies and superhero movies. Uh, it's an amazing thing when you look at every year what movies make the most money, meaning uh, what movies did the most number of people go to see? It's almost always a superhero movie. Uh, they fill the top 10, the top five, the top three, and usually the number one is a superhero movie. The movie that made the most money of all time, the highest grossing film of all time now, is a superhero movie, the last Avengers movie in the Marvel Universe. It's amazing. We love the idea of heroes. Um, we love to watch people fly around and flaunt their super strength and those kind of things and the special effects. But I think it's more than that. It's not just what they can do. It's what they choose to do. See, I would say a superhero is not defined by their super power, but by the actions they take. In fact, I think that's what draws us to the movies to see them. That's what draws us to those stories. That's what draws us watching things like that. We watch people take actions that we know are right and that maybe even we wish we would take ourselves. The heroes in a movie are always the people who put someone else's interests, needs, wants, safety in front of their own. And that's always what makes them the hero. They put someone else's comfort in front of their own, someone else's needs in front of their own. Sometimes the hero winds up sacrificing his own safety or her own safety or his or her own life to be the hero. Sometimes they die. That's an amazing thing. That's what it means to be a hero, to put someone else in front of yourself. The Bible tells us the same thing in Philippians. It says to put other people's burdens and interests before your own. The Bible is calling us to be heroes, to live out a hero life, to not just watch them on the screen, but to be the heroes of real life. Now, I know what you're saying. You're saying, I mean, I can't be a hero. I can't be a superhero. I can't fly. I don't have super strength. In fact, I can't even get out of my house. I'm locked down, man. I'm on quarantine. Well, I'll tell you what. Here are three opportunities that we have to be heroes even while we're quarantined. Number one, stay home. Is that crazy? You can be a hero by basically doing nothing. You think about that. Someone asks you, what's your superpower? And you're like, I binge Netflix. Uh, what's your superpower? Uh, I, I, uh, I like to read. And I could just sit down and read a book all day long and do nothing else. And I'm happy with that. Wow. What's your superpower? Ah, oh, I play video games. And once I put on the headset and plug in, I could do that all day long and never come out of it. All the things that people used to say, man, you're antisocial. Now you're being lazy. All those things that people would say those negative things about. Now, those things are your superpower. You do those things and you can save lives. The medical uh, professionals and healthcare authorities are telling us if we can slow down the spread of this virus, if we can in effect flatten the curve of the number of people that get the virus at any one time, we could actually save lives. And that's because if everybody gets it at the same time, then the medical healthcare system will be overwhelmed. They won't have enough doctors, nurses, medicine, uh, equipment, uh, beds, for the people to be cared for. And in that capacity, some people are gonna not get the great health care that they need, and some people are more people are gonna die. If we can just flatten that out, and we do that by simply not getting the virus, and we do that by staying home, not having contact with people that have it. 
If we can do that, we flatten the curve. And even though the same number of people might get the virus as in the other example, if we remain under the capacity of our healthcare system to take care of, all those people get the healthcare and the, uh, the medical assistance that they need. And in that capacity, we save lives. Less people will die. You can save lives just by staying home. Another thing the Bible tells us is not just to love in word, but in deed. Let us not just love in words, but with deeds and actions. Uh, the second way that you and I can be heroes is we can begin checking on the people around us, uh, calling our neighbors, FaceTiming our family, checking on people and seeing what their needs are, if they're in trouble, if they need any help, if there's things that we can do for them that they can't do for themselves, or shouldn't do. I have gone out a couple times to help some people out and I see a lot of seniors out there and I think to myself, don't you have someone that could do this for you? You can be a, a hero just by checking in on someone around you. And then the third thing is this, you can be a hero just by being generous. I know a lot of people went out right away and we were really worried and panicked and you grabbed a lot of stuff and so you're stocked up for the rest of your life for toilet paper and paper towels and, and drumsticks, you know, whatever it might be. I get it. We want to take care of our families. They're a priority for us and that's important. At the same time, we can be heroes by being generous. When we check in on people and we find that they have a need, we can fill that need. The Bible is constantly telling Christ's followers to be generous people. It's saying that's the way human beings are supposed to live. You and I can be heroes just by sharing what we have by being generous. And this is a great time for that, to show the world that we're not selfish, to show the world that we care about them. You can be a hero even now, even quarantined, even staying home doing almost nothing. You can be a hero. Heroes are not defined by the power that they have, but by the actions that they take, the heart that they give. In that context, God is calling all of us to be heroes. God bless you. I, I hope this rings the bell for you to be a hero. And because of that, I hope you're blessed. And because of that, I hope the world around you is blessed too. Stay safe and thank you for joining us.